Hi guys, in this video, we're going to see how you can set up a copyright AI agent workflow using NA10. With this simple tool, I just open a chat and type a request, write a cold email to pitch my design services to startups. Then I simply hit send and the automation runs. And a few moments later, a new perfectly formatted cold email appears right in my Google Drive. This automation has three specific copyright agents, one for ads, one for cold emails, another one for video scripts, each one built with its own knowledge base. And when you type a request, the system automatically picks up the right agent based on what you need using how each one was trained. I'll show you how to access the workflow and set it up step by step. To do that, first we need to get the N8 and hosting. So we are going to purchase N8 and from Webspace Kit, where we get unlimited workflow executions and unlimited active workflows. Since N8 and is open source, you get so much more benefits when you host it on your own on a platform like Webspace Kit. So to host N8 and on Webspace Kit, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page. Scroll down and click choose plan. Here choose how long you want the hosting for. Then fill in these details. Here enter your payment details and click check out. Now click here and you can see that we have successfully got the N8 and hosting. So once you've got the hosting, next we need to set up the N8 and automation. To do that, just scroll down, click on go to setup, fill in these details, click next and it'll take you to this page. Now this is the place where we are going to create the workflow. You can create a workflow from scratch, but it takes a lot of time. So to make things easier, we've already created a workflow template and it is available on Webspace Kit for free. Okay, now our friend Mark will explain the process of setting up this agent. Hi guys, this is Mark. So now I will show you how to get the template. To get the template, go back to Webspace Kit, scroll down and here you'll find different workflow templates for various AI agents. Since we are creating a copywriter AI agent, let's select that and click download. Perfect, the template has been downloaded to our computer. Now we need to import this workflow into our N8N instance. So let's go back to our N8N tab by clicking on Workflows. To import our downloaded template, we first need to click on Start from Scratch to create a new workflow. Now we're going to import the template file we just downloaded. So let's click on this three-dot menu icon next to the Save button. And then click on Import from File to browse for our downloaded template. Now we need to select the copywriter AI agent JSON file that we downloaded earlier. Great, the workflow template has been imported successfully and you can see all the different nodes that make up our AI copywriter team. Now let's give this workflow a proper name. So I'm going to click on my workflow at the top and I'll type copywriter AI agent to rename it. Finally, let's save our workflow by clicking the save button. Perfect. We now have our pre-built workflow template imported and ready to configure. Now that we have our workflow imported, we need to set up the credentials so our AI copywriters can actually work. So let's start by connecting OpenAI to our workflow. First, we need to add our OpenAI API key to N8N. So let's click on the OpenAI chat model node. Now we need to set up the credentials for this node. So let's click on the Select Credential drop-down menu. Since we don't have any credentials set up yet, we need to create new ones. So let's click on plus create new credential. This is going to open up the OpenAI platform where we can get our API key. Here we need to enter OpenAI API key. To get the key, click the link in the description and it will take you to the OpenAI platform. So let's click the login button on the OpenAI platform page. Now I'm gonna sign in with Google to make this faster. So let's click the continue with Google button. Perfect, now we're in the OpenAI dashboard. To create an API key for our AI copywriters, we need to click the plus create new secret key button. Let's give our API key a name so we can identify it later. Now let's generate the key by clicking the create secret key button. Great, OpenAI has generated our secret key. Now we need to copy this key and paste it into N8N. So let's click the copy button to copy the secret key. Now let's go back to our N8N workflow. Now we need to paste our API key into the credential field. So let's right click in the API key field and then click paste from the context menu. Perfect, now we have our OpenAI API key connected. Let's save these credentials by clicking the save button. Great, our OpenAI credentials are now saved. Let's close this dialog by clicking the close icon. 
Now let's get back to our workflow canvas so we can continue setting up our AI copywriters. So let's click the Back to Canvas button. Now we need to create our AI assistants in the OpenAI platform. These will be the actual copywriters that will do the work for us. So let's start by clicking on the Add Copy Agent node to see what we're working with. Now, let's go back to our OpenAI browser tab. First, let's close this dialog by clicking the Done button here. Now, we need to access the Assistance section. So let's click on Assistance in the left-hand navigation menu. Now, we're going to create our first AI assistant, so let's click the plus Create button. Now, instead of manually typing everything, I have a template ready for you to make this process much easier. Click the link in the description. Let me download it first by clicking Download Anyway on this Google Drive page. Great, now we have our template downloaded. Let's extract it by right-clicking on the assistance template.zip file, and then clicking on Extract All from the context menu. Now let's click the Extract button to extract all the files. Perfect. Now let's open the template for our Add Copy Agent by double-clicking the Meta Add Copy folder. Now, let's open the instructions by double-clicking the Add Copy Agent text file. Great. Now we can see all the instructions for our Add Copy Agent. Let's first copy the name by highlighting and copying Add Copy Agent text. Now, let's go back to our OpenAI page and paste the name. So let's right-click in the Name field and then click Paste from the context menu. Perfect. Now we need to add the system instructions. So let's go back to our text editor and select all the text for the system instructions and copy it. Now, let's paste these instructions into OpenAI. So let's right-click in the system instructions text area and then click Paste from the context menu. Excellent. Now, to make our assistant even more powerful, we need to enable file search so we can reference additional materials. Let's click the toggle to enable file search. Now, we can add some reference files that will help our assistant create better copy. Let's click the plus files button. Now, let's add some marketing and copywriting reference materials by selecting multiple PDF files and dragging them into the attach files dialog. Perfect. Now let's attach these files by clicking the Attach button. So now that we've created all our AI assistants, we need to connect them to the workflow nodes. Let's go back to our N8N workflow to link everything together. Now we need to connect our first AI assistant to its corresponding node. So let's click on the Assistant drop-down menu here. Perfect. You can see all the assistants we just created are showing up in this list. So let's click on Add Agent to connect our Add Copy Assistant to this node. Great, now our Add Copy Assistant is connected to this workflow node. Let's click the Back to Canvas button to return to the main workflow view. Okay, so now we have successfully connected our first AI Assistant to the workflow. You can see that this node is now properly configured with our Add Copy Agent. Now in the same way, you can connect the other AI agents. Now we need to set up Google Cloud Project and generate credentials for the Google Docs API. This will allow our AI copywriters to automatically save their work to Google Docs. First, let's click on the HTTP Request node to start the setup process. Next, we need to create new credentials, so let's click on the Select Credential drop-down menu, and then click on Plus Create New Credential. Now we need to create a new Google Cloud project for this automation. Now we need to get these two details from Google Cloud. So to get these details, click the link in description and it will take you to this page. So let's click on Select a Project. Then click on New Project to create a fresh project. Let's give our project a name. Now click the Create button to create the project. Great. Once the project is created, we need to select it. So let's click on Select Project in the notification pop-up. Now we need to enable the APIs that our automation will use. First, let's click on APIs and Services in the left navigation menu. Then click on Library from the submenu to browse available APIs. 
We need to enable the Google Docs API first. So let's search for Google Docs API and click the corresponding search result. Now click the Google Docs API card to open it and click the Enable button to activate this API for our project. We also need the Google Drive API, so let's click on Library in the left navigation menu again. Now let's search for Google Drive API and click the corresponding search result. Click the Google Drive API card and click the Enable button to enable this API as well. Next, we need to set up OAuth Consent Screen so our app can access Google services. Let's click on OAuth Consent Screen in the left navigation menu. Now click the Get Started button to begin the setup. We need to give our app a name. Now we need to set a support email. Click the User Support Email dropdown and select the email. Let's click the Next button to continue. We need to set this as external since we want to use it with our Google account. So click the External Radio button. Click the Next button to proceed. Now we need to add developer contact information. Let's enter email addresses and then check Next. We need to agree to Google's terms, so click the checkbox. Now, click the Continue button and click the Create button to finish setting up the OAuth consent screen. Since this is for our personal use, we need to publish the app. Click on Audience in the left navigation menu. Click the Publish App button and click the Confirm button to publish it. Now, we need to create the actual credentials. Let's click the navigation menu icon to access the main menu. Click on APIs and Services, then Credentials. Now, let's create our credentials by clicking the plus Create Credentials button. Click on OAuth Client ID, since that's what we need for our automation. We need to set the application type, so click the Application Type drop-down and select Web Application. Let's give it a name. I'll enter N8N Deep Research in the name field. Now we need to add the redirect URI from our N8N instance. Click the plus Add URI button. Let's switch back to our N8N tab by clicking on the Browser tab. We need to copy the OAuth redirect URL, so click to copy icon for the OAuth redirect URL. Now, let's go back to the Google Cloud tab. We need to paste the redirect URL, so right-click in the URI1 field and click Paste from the context menu. Now, let's create our credentials by clicking the Create button. Perfect. Now we have our credentials. Let's copy the client ID first by clicking the Copy icon next to the client ID. Switch back to N8N. Now, paste the client ID by right-clicking in the client ID field and click Paste from the context menu. Let's go back to get the client secret. Click on the Create OAuth Client ID browser tab. Copy the client secret by clicking the Copy icon next to the client secret. Switch back to N8N by clicking on the Deep Research N8N browser tab. Now, paste the client secret by right-clicking in the client secret field and click Paste from the context menu. Now we need to authenticate with Google. Click the Sign In with Google button. We need to select our Google account, so click on the User account. Now we need to grant permissions for our automation to work. Click the Select All checkbox to give it access to Google Docs and Drive. Click the Continue button to grant the permissions. Great! Our Google credentials are now set up. Let's close this dialog by clicking the Close X icon on the Google Docs account dialog and click the Back to Canvas button to return to our workflow. Perfect! Now we have successfully set up Google Cloud Project and generated the credentials needed for our AI copywriters to save their work to Google Docs automatically. Okay, so now let's test our Ad Copy Agent to make sure everything is working properly. So to test the workflow, we need to send a message to our AI Assistant. Let's click the Open Chat button here. Now enter the Ad Copy prompt to test our workflow. Perfect, now let's click the Send Message button to trigger our workflow. Great. So the workflow should now be running in the background. 
Now let's check if our Google Doc was created with the AI-generated content. So let's go back to our Google Drive tab. And you can see that we have a new document that was just created. This is exactly what we expected to see. Now let's click on this newly created document to open it up. Perfect! And now let's scroll down to see the generated content that our AI copywriter created. And there we go. You can see that our ad copy agent has successfully generated the content and automatically saved it to this Google Doc. So now, let's test our cold email agent to make sure it's working properly. Let me switch back to our NADN chat interface by clicking this tab here. Okay, so now I'm going to give our cold email agent a different prompt to test how it performs. Let me type in a cold email request. Now let's send this message to see our cold email agent in action. Perfect! You can see that the workflow is processing our request. Now let's check if the cold email sequence has been automatically created in our Google Drive. So, let me switch over to our Google Drive tab here. And there we go. You can see that a new document has been created called Cold Email Interior. This is exactly what we expected to see. Our cold email agent has automatically generated the content and saved it to Google Drive. Let me click on this document to see what our AI copywriter has created for us. Now let's test our third and final AI agent, the ad script agent. So let's click back. Now we're going to test the ad script agent with a video ad script request. So I'm going to type a new prompt into the chat for video ad script. And then let's click the send message button to trigger our workflow. Perfect. Now our ad script agent should be working on creating that video ad script for us. Let's check if our Google Doc has been created. So let's click on the recent Google Drive browser tab. Great. You can see that we have a newly created document. This means our ad script agent has successfully generated the content and created the Google Doc for us. Let's click on this newly created video ad script document. Now let's go back to our workflow. Awesome. So we've successfully tested all three of our AI copywriting agents, the ad copy agent, the cold email agent, and the ad script agent. Each one is working perfectly and automatically creating Google Docs with the generated content. Your team of AI copywriters is now ready to help you create amazing marketing content. So that's it guys, your NADN automation is ready. And if you found this helpful, give it a like and subscribe to Website Learners. Take care. Bye-bye.